Okay guys, welcome back to Engineers Academy. Kindly subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet. Uh, now we are going to solve this problem which says that if the 60 kg skier passes point A with a speed of 5 meter per second, so the velocity at A is 5 meter per second and his mass is 60 kg. So we are required to determine his speed when he reaches point B. So we have to find the velocity at point B. And it is said that also find the normal force exerted on him by the slope at this point. So we have to find the normal force at point B as well. And it is said that neglect friction. So we are going to solve this problem by considering the normal and tangential coordinates. So let's say that this is my tangential coordinate system. This is my tangent, tangential direction and this is my normal direction. And the weight of the skier is acting in the downward direction. That is vertically downward. This is the weight. And the surface is going to apply the normal force in the positive end direction. So this is in the normal force. So now to find the velocity at point B, we will apply the work energy principle. So from the work energy principle, we can say that the kinetic energy at point A plus the summation of the work done from A to B due to the external forces will be equal to the kinetic energy at point B. Now the kinetic energy at point A is 1 divided by 2, mass is 60 times the velocity at A square. So the velocity at A is 5, this is 5. 5 square plus now as we can see that the skier is subjected to this n and this weight so as we can see that the displacement is always traveled along the tangential direction and this n is always perpendicular to the displacement travel so it is not going to do any work so the work is only done due to the weight so we can write that the the summit uh, plus the work done due to the weight and that will be equal to the kinetic energy at point v so that will be equal to 1 divided by 2 mass times Vb square. Now the work done due to the weight is always equal to weight times the change in the vertical position from A to B. So we have to find the location of this point B from the x-axis. So we have to find this. So this will be Yb let's say. So now we are given the, the path as a function of y as a function of x, right? So now here the x coordinate is 0. So now if we put x equals to 0 in this equation, so then we will be left with plus 5 meters, right? So this means that when x is equal to 0, the y coordinate of the skier at point B is 5 meters. So we can say that this yb is 5 meters and the coordinates of the skier at point B is 0, 5. So now from this we can conclude that the change in y will be 15 minus this y b. So that will be our change in y. Let's say that point A, this is this is point A. So this is change in y. From here to here this is change in y and this change in y is 15 minus that y b. So the work done due to the weight is that mass is 60 times 9.81 and change in y is 15 minus 5. And as we can see that the skier is moving in the downward direction. So the vertical distance is traveled in the downward direction and the weight is also acting in the downward direction. So the work done due to the weight is the positive work done. So now we can write the work done due to the weight is 60 times 9.81 into 15 minus 5 so this is 10 so I will multiply this with 10 now if I divide this whole equation by the mass so 60 will cancel out and this 60 will cancel out so we will be left with this equation like this and now if I multiply this whole equation by 2 so this 2 will cancel out and we will have 2 here and this we will cancel out this as well All right so, and if we take the square root, so this will give us the velocity of the skier at point B. So now we can find this. This is square root 5 square plus 2 into 9.81 into 10. So this gives me Vb, which is 14.873. 
so we b is equal to 14.873 meter per second now we were also asked to find the normal force at point b so the normal force at point b let me draw the free body diagram at point b so let's say that this box represent that skier at point b so then the skier is moving in the horizontal direction right so then if we define our normal and tangential coordinates so this will be our tangential axis is and this will be our normal axis is vertically upward like this and now the weight is going to act in the negative n direction like this this is the weight and the normal force is going to act in the positive n direction so now if we apply the summation of forces along the normal axis is equals to m a n so as we can see that this n is acting in the positive n direction so i will write plus n minus that weight will be equal to m times a n so mass is 60 and a n is as we know that a n will be equal to v square divided by the radius of curvature at point b and we know that the weight is 60 times 9.81 so now if i bring this weight to the other side so it will become positive this will be 60 into 9.81 now we know v b which is we have determined by using the work energy principle now we have to find the radius of curvature at point b so from kinematics is we know that the radius of curvature is 1 plus dy by dx square and then to the power of 3 divided by 2 the absolute value and then d square y divided by dx square absolute value so now we are given this y as a function of x we can find this dy by dx so now uh, y equals to 0.025 x square plus 5 so now if i take the derivative of this with respect to x that will be dy by dx and this is equal to 2 into 0.025 x and the second derivative so that is d uh, square y by dx square so this will be 2 into 0 0.025 so now since we want to find the radius of curvature at point b so we have to put x equals to 0 since at point b x is equal to 0 so now if i put x equals to 0 in this equation so this will become 0 and this there is no x right so we will be left with this constant now if I put all those values in this equation then the radius of curvature at point B will be 1 this value is 0 to the power 3 divided by 2 and divided by this value that is 2 into 0 0.025 so now this is 1 to the power 3 divided by 2 1 plus 0 is 1 so that is 1 to the power 3 divided by 2 divided by 2 into 0 0.025 so this gives us 20 meters so the radius of curvature at point b is 20 meters so now if i put all those values in this equation let's say this is our equation one so from equation one we can write that n is equal to 60 is 60 vb square vb is 14.873 square divided by the radius of curvature so that is 20 that is plus 60 into 9.81 so this will give us the normal force at point b since we have used vb and the radius of curvature at point b so now that is 60 into 14.873 square divided by 20 plus 60 into 9.81 so this gives us uh, 1252 so 1252 newtons or we can say that this is approximately 1.25 kilo newton so this is the normal force on the skier at point b which was required so this is the velocity of the skier when it passes through that point b and this is the normal force when the skier passes through that point b so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning uh, do let me know in the comment section if it helps in your learning also subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet
and like all my videos if you people want me to continue this effort of solving hebelostatics and dynamics.